Hi, I'm Zach Hudgens from the 11th Legislative District, and I'm here today for our Two Minutes with Zach with Representative Jamie Peterson. Jamie, I ran in 2002 for election because the economy was in the tank, and I really wanted to do something about jobs. Why did you run for office? The main impetus for me was that I had worked for about 10 years at that point in 2006 on marriage equality for same-sex couples and uh, was in the middle of the case before the Supreme Court and realized that no matter what the court decided, it was going to be up to the legislature to decide the next step. The bills are moving back and forth in the House and the Senate, and I think some of this work on protecting these rights and responsibilities is some of the most important work we've done in my 10 years in the legislature. Do you think we succeed this year? It looks very likely at this point that the bill is going to make it out of the Senate and out of the House and go to the governor's desk, and she, of course, uh, requested the legislation and has uh, indicated that she will sign it enthusiastically. It's quite likely that the opponents of the bill are going to be successful in mounting a referendum challenge, so probably all the voters of the state of Washington are going to have a chance in November to vote on it. One of the factors that we had to consider when we were thinking about whether to move forward with the bill this year was whether we thought we could win at the ballot box, and I think uh, I think we can. It's not a certainty by any stretch of the imagination, and it probably will be a close election. Many people that we work with and live around ask, why aren't we there yet? Why haven't we already done this? The reality at this point is that we have more than 30 states where voters have voted on the question of marriage equality, and we have yet to win one of those. Washington is a lot further ahead than places like Alabama and Utah, and I think they'll be dragged kicking and screaming by the U.S. Supreme Court when that eventually happens.